There are common discussions and controversies in Elite Dangerous, and the online gaming community at large, based around the concepts of griefing, ganking, and trolling. Everyone has their own opinion and history with this subject, and their feelings about it can range from mild to extreme. A lot of topics I'd like to cover in Elite touch on these aspects, but over the years I've found a single problem that plagues anyone approaching the subject. Semantics. I'm creating this video to serve the prerequisite of defining these terms, crystallizing what they entail, and what people's feelings and responses are and perhaps ought to be in regards to these varying terms. I am pulling from my own history as a gamer, both inside Elite and outside of it, to arrive at these definitions and descriptions. A lot of gamers and commanders use these terms griefing, ganking, and trolling interchangeably, but I do not feel this is appropriate. Most gaming communities differentiate between the three, as do experienced and mature gamers. It is typically newer, inexperienced gamers that blur the lines, and we can't afford to do this when we want to have a reasonable discussion in such semantic-laden topics. My definitions result in what I consider to be a universal consensus between the experienced gaming communities. Your exact definitions may differ but if they differ drastically, consider updating them so that you may communicate in the same language as others to convey concepts that we each understand. If we're using the same words to describe different experiences or concepts, then debate becomes meaningless. You begin arguing over nothing. This semantic stubbornness infects almost every debate in and outside of video games. For example, in the gun debate in my community, we can't even get started in the conversation when neither side will agree on what defines an assault weapon. So ultimately, you might disagree with my definitions. But if you do, well, that's your problem. These are the definitions most experienced gamers use, and they will be the definitions I am using. If you don't like them, install a translator in your computer that converts these concepts to whatever words that you want to use for them. But even if we disagree on one definition, I hope the points that I make on the concepts behind the words get through to you. Between griefing, ganking, and trolling is one phrase that I like to use that joins these concepts together. Bad manners. There are other forms of bad manners that you can take up in Elite, such as being toxic, salty, vindictive, reckless, or just outright idiotic, but I won't be discussing those. Just know that I'd also consider those players to be on the bad manners spectrum as well. We'll start with what I consider to be the worst of the bunch, or the far negative end of the bad manner spectrum, the griefer. A griefer is a gamer or an elite dangerous commander who engages in negative or toxic actions against other players with the intent of causing them grief. They actively look for emotional responses such as sorrow, anger, or frustration. Their targets are usually random people, but just as often the griefer will target someone who has already triggered their insecurities as like a type of prideful revenge. Their favorite types of actions are the ones that are repeated ad nauseum with an inevitability element to them, like something you are trapped in or powerless to escape avoid, or do anything about. The fact that you are powerless and they have all the power is a favorite common element for the griefer due to how insecure and powerless they typically feel in the real world. Griefers are motivated by a variety of reasons, but they are commonly driven by disillusionment in the game, their own identity confusion, or their own personal insecurities. They may literally be sociopaths or sadists in real life, but I would shy away from accusing them of that. They may just suffer frequent social defeats in real life, like bullying in school or at home, and that frustration comes out in game, where they finally have a little bit of power. For this reason, I don't think you should hate griefers, but rather pity them. Countering a griefer, defeating them, or even griefing them back can erode their calmer, bullying demeanor and set off unbridled rage. Further defeat can send them into a depression spiral, which may see them leaving the game forever. Moving up the spectrum a bit, we come to the ganker. Ganking is the act of dropping in on an unsuspecting player and defeating them quickly and easily, often with high, dogged aggression. Ganking usually involves the ganker being much more powerful than their victim or in a far more advantageous position than their victim, either because they have a much higher level, much better gear, outfitting, numbers, or the situation is just far more fortuitous to them. The situation can be as extreme as essentially kicking you when you're down. To be a ganker means to be a player who actively seeks to create these situations and use them for their advantage. The act of ganking can become an element of the griefer, particularly if this is done repeatedly to insane degrees or includes laming such as spawn killing, but the common ganker differentiates themselves from the common 
griefer, mostly based on attitude, technique, and motivation. A ganker often uses ganking as their favorite predatory PvP tactic. They do it for honest laughs and content, or literally to thin the numbers of players in a certain area in an act of culling. And a lot of the time, gankers see victims as opportunities to finally get a kill in a game where they struggle in. Elite Dangerous most commonly sees this in frequented areas, such as Shinra to Desra, Seoul, Near Engineers, or during heavily populated expeditions such as Distant Worlds 2, where they created an added threat and drastically reduced the number of commanders of a viable shot to Beagle Point. Unlike Griefers, Gankers often enjoy counterattacks and respond much better to defeat, some outright looking for it, or at least a decent challenge. They do enjoy shit-talking, and they'll gladly engage you in shit-talking. They'll defend their actions as part of the game. This is very different than the Griefer, who has no intention of defending their actions, and who has a more toxic, cold type of response. Ultimately, it isn't difficult to earn the respect of most gankers. Even being a good sport about your destruction at their hands can earn you their respect and save you from future interdictions from them. Unfortunately, most people don't like to be blown up. Less so blown up suddenly, for seemingly no reason, by a much more powerful commander. It feels cheap, and it is cheap. People can quickly lose sight of what is enjoyable about these dangers, and their minds race for reasons to hate it and paint themselves as pitiable victims of some overblown crime. Because of this, they are tempted to refer to gankers incorrectly as griefers and respond to them as such. This is an understandable reaction, but it's not a fair or accurate one. Though very dishonorable and often cowardly, ganking is a legitimate tactic in gaming, and even if it doesn't appear to result in any obvious gains for the attacker, it can still entertain them generate content, or help them thin the player base for tactical reasons in a certain area. And as I said earlier, it might be their only opportunity to get a kill at all. Or perhaps they're just really, really bored. Now a lot of these aren't good reasons, but they are reasons. Just because you don't understand why you died doesn't mean there isn't a reason, and you must accept this as part of the game as it was intended. FDev and many other developers for online games intend for you to be considering the potential to be ganked and preparing yourself for that. I would not like a galaxy where being ganked wasn't possible. And if you don't want it to be possible, that's what modes like Solo and Private are for in games like Elite. Now a common response to that argument would be something along the lines of, well, I like to play in open because I like other player interactions, I just don't like the ganking interactions. Well, you can't have one without the other unless you want to completely eliminate that threat and that aspect of gameplay that most commanders enjoy. Being a little bit nervous when you meet a new commander, unsure of their motivations, is part of the fun of those interactions, at least in the opinion of most players and in the opinion of FDev because that is again how the game was intended. You should not try to force the way you prefer the game to be on everybody else. FDev has bent over backwards to provide you with other game modes, including a special private mode, where you can still play with your friends and avoid being ganked. But they can't give you the whole world. The game can't be perfectly fine-tuned to exactly what you as an individual want. It has to be tuned toward what the community wants. And as a mature adult, you're going to have to realize that, and you're going to have to accept it. Some players have suggested a Care Bear mode that is is essentially a completely open mode that doesn't allow for PvP actions to occur, but that would divide the player base substantially in a game that already has a lot of space in a relatively small player base. That would completely change the nature of the threat. And finally, let's be honest, it's extremely easy to remain safe and undestroyed in Elite Dangerous. Way too easy. It's almost impossible to be intercepted and destroyed by an NPC. For even beginning commanders, death is extremely hard to find. True danger is rare. The only time I feel threatened or sweat at all is when there's players after me. Lastly, we come to the troll. Trolls are heavily misunderstood, especially by newer players in any given online game, as well as by hypersensitive players who are terrified of being the butt of a joke. Trolls are players who engage in surprising, perplexing, and insane activities with the intent of humor generated by the reaction of their target player or players. They are uncommonly destructive, and if they are destructive, only minorly so, or as the result of their targets overreactions or mistakes. Trolls rarely intentionally cause direct, massive damage to another, as that would not really suit their purposes. They're essentially just pranksters in a video game, aiming to make their targets utterly confused, scared, shocked, or embarrassed, 
for the purpose of laughter for themselves and their friends, the creation of content for an internet video, or seeking legend status. Most negative responses to trolls are driven more by annoyance and embarrassment than because of actual damages done in game. Trolling varies quite a lot based on the skill and the wit of the troll itself and the tools they have available to them. Beginner trolls or young kids trying to troll typically end up in unfunny annoyance. However, practiced crafty trolls can generate legitimate, mostly harmless humor. It can be looked at like this. How a troll is received is dependent mostly on three factors. The skill of the troll, the sensitivity or mindset of the victim, and the culture surrounding the game community itself. If a bad troller targets a hypersensitive victim, the end result would likely be accusations that the troll is a griefer when that isn't really the case. They were just really bad at trolling and their victim wasn't a very good sport. In the end, trolls want everyone, including their targets, to have a good laugh with no harm done. And this is what separates them by far and away from the average griefer. However, it must be said that some griefers try to mask their activities as trolling, as a way to justify their thinly veiled insecurities. Community plays a major role in how trolls are tolerated. In long-standing games where trolling has been deeply explored, good trolls are seen as community heroes, if not leaders. This can be seen in games like Minecraft, with virtually all of its top content creators like Donnie Bobes, RGA, and Skeppy. However, in other game communities of less established culture, the same trolls are taken very negatively. A troll who is lauded in one game may find themselves loathed in another game for the very same antics. Some communities may see calling someone a troll as a badge of honor, a compliment. Other communities may see the word troll as an insult. The Elite Dangerous community is still out on how they feel about trolls, particularly because of how diverse its player base is in terms of age and nationality of its commanders. My final opinion on the Bad Manners Club, trolls should be taken on by a case-by-case -case basis. And in general, people need to lighten up a bit when something is funny, at least the first time around. Bad trolls should be identified as bad trolls and informed that they're being very annoying, and then brushed off. Gankers, on the other hand, fulfill a vital role within Elite Dangerous. They add a real danger in a game that often is lacking danger, and they make the game what it is supposed to be. It is understandable that you'd want to get angry at being ganked, but don't take it personally and take safety measures to elude them. Some of your most memorable and epic moments will be dealing with threats like this. Griefers, however, are scumbags, but they shouldn't be hated. They should be pitied, because their stepdads probably hit them.